And welcome back. Hope everyone's having a good week. It is Friday. That means we've got a UEC. Uh, we had a uh, week off for the normal UEC with the reenactment, but uh, we're back on the normal for this one. It is one server, uh, 280, well, 279 specifically, and it is a uh, framing fence lines map for Conquest. Uh, 140 on the CSA versus 139 on the Union. Let's take a look at that Union team. They have the LFL. The 20th Georgia joined by the Shenandoah regulars. We have the 4th Georgia. We have the German Corps. As well as the SB and the 6th New York. Let's see, on leadership here, we got Dar leading the cab, the NYV. 20th Georgia is led by Wilk, John Wilkes Booth. Uka is leading the LFL. Uh, Zerberaz is leading the SB. Colonel Owens is leading the 4th Georgia, and GC is led by Colonel Vibar. Right, and let's take a look at their arty. See, it looks like they got multiple guns. Looks like we got Forp in here from the LFL with one cannon, and we've got 52nd under Fleischer, and let's see, Private Jake here from the SB. So, three guns for the Union team. Let's take a look at the CSA. I'll start out with their arty. On them, they've got Jeff Davis Bat under Private Snore. We've also got VA Bat under Henry Perkins. And GLA under Colpy. And checking out their infantry. As they get ready to move out, we've got the ANV led by Lyferic. Let's see. The 56 led by Captain Slaughter. The 3rd Alabama led by Captain Williamson. The 6th Texas under Captain Rousseau. At the sprint. Oh, God. That's right. Sprint. I miss these guys. And the 8th Florida under Captain Fritz. How could I miss Fritz? I could never miss Fritz. Uh, I'd be sad if I missed Fritz. And off they go. And again, this is Conquest, so all three points are active. And the RD is starting to send off some counter battery shots. Kind of the opening uh, salvos of this engagement here. All right, so kind of looking overhead as A and V tries to don some uh, cannon shots coming in. It's like the Union splitting. They got several elements going to A point. We've got, and it looks like the rest are going to B, but they're going in two different streams here. They've got kind of a flanking force here, the NYV and the SB, and then you've got another element coming in from this angle here with the fourth GA and the LFL. Um, right now, though, the CSA was able to get to B first, and that was the A and V, but they're going to have a lot of trouble coming their way. The rest of the CSA does not get down here very soon to help them out. We will see, and this will be the opening engagement. See if A and V can hold out. As you can see, there's that flanking Union force, and the CSA has not arrived in time. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe they will make it here. Who is this? Here comes Captain Rousseau and his Texans. They're going to try to uh, help out the A and B, but I think it's too late as the SB is in place to stop them. And the Union was quicker on the draw on this map, and they are in a very good position because of that initial movement. And now you can see here comes 3rd Alabama. But the Union has this great opportunity to feed each of the CSA units as they come up in detail. But we'll see if Williamson can stop. But wait a second here. Union is pressing forward here, and they are massing. 
Oh, but we do have 56 over here. They're going to try to lay out some supporting fire, but that will not be enough to save. The third Alabama, who's going to be forced to retreat here momentarily, and then all those guns are going to be targeting this 56 AGL combo here. You see, oh, well, we got a new uh, renewed attack coming in. Here's Fritz attempting. Again, the CSA attack has been very uh, dis disjointed here. And I don't think it's going to succeed. There was some good, you know, maneuvers, but it wasn't enough individually in order to do it. We'll see if the Union can hold out for reinforcements. Here comes Colonel Vibar. It might be critical for him to get up here as soon as possible to help plug this hole. Already coming in now, starting to do some damage. Anybody for the 51st still here? See Williamson getting his men back together. And Fritz is still trying to maintain this forward position here, but he's taking a lot of fire here. And you can see Colonel Vibar has made it in on time. The Union reinforcements have arrived here. And this might be too much for the CSA. You see they got a down flag over there. And that is going to prove very detrimental to them. And you can see all that fire concentrating on poor Fritz. As he's getting fire from multiple angles here in a bowl. And is just not going to be able to maintain. And off he goes. Falling back. Union. Right now you can see the tickets are about even. But with those two points, that is going to be very hard for the CSA to... Uh, Come back up. Now they do have a bit of a force developing over here. Now you got Lyferic has brought the A and V back up. We will see if that is enough for the uh, CSA to make a push. <laughs> Devastating volley coming in. Who is that from the GC? You can't stick up by yourself like that or you see what happens. You can't. If you're going to move, it's got to be with everyone. You can't do it by yourself. Now we, now these guys are going to try, A&V is going to try to get their flag back. And Lyferix says fall back. And this was a flag retrieval mission. That means you need to get back flag. Um, as far as that goes, I think that is a worthwhile thing to do, even though it cost you a little bit. Uh, having that fourth flag up is going to be critical. Now we got a maneuver by Williamson, go attempting to go through the corn and ambush LFL. We'll see if he's successful. Here he comes, the third Alabama. I'm sorry, Cluster. And so far, Williamson is trying to push through. We'll see if he's got enough here. But I don't think he's got quite enough. No, he does not. And thus falls the third Alabama. So far, the Union has won all these attacks. Although the CSA is making them pay on tickets, but again, with the two points, that is going to eventually become a bit of a problem. They're in the cold, look, they're in the cold. Company in the man. Yeah, like NYV doing a bit of a guard screen, but just got hit. Fort Georgia Owens is moving in to reinforce to try to stop the A and V. We'll see if they can do it. They're holding for now, but CSA is flooding reinforcements into this side. And this may be the weak link. 
But wait, here comes John Wilkes from the 20th to flood in and to plug that hole. And so far, the Union holds. The Union holds. Again, these individual attacks are not going to be sufficient, in my opinion. Need to have something a little bit more to be successful, but we will see. Union now pressing forward a little bit far here, in my opinion, with the 20th. And they are in danger of getting torn up here by this element here, the 56 AGL element. Another raid by the Union. This is very gutsy here. This time by the SB, the anchor of the Union, throwing itself into the face of the CSA line here. I don't know about this. This might, Union might come to regret this. They are doing a lot of damage. As you can see, so far the Fort Georgia had to fall back. Now they can concentrate fire on the SB. Oh, but they're moving out to try to uh, clean up the 20th Georgia here. A and V smells blood. As you can see, SB is a little bit out of position now. Um, but A and V looks like... I'm not sure what's happening now. Where are you guys going here? Oh, there's a Union element back here. Wait a second. Who is this? LFL is going to ambush the 56 from behind. Man, oh man. You got to know where the enemy spawn is and keep that in mind. And that might be a key attack here by the LFL knocking back or at least disrupting this 56 AGL element there. Even if they all die, I think that was absolutely worth it. You can see this element here is now going to have to fall back and reconsolidate. And as we see, Union is now getting ahead on tickets with those two points. Engaged versus battle ready, and that is going to continue to be a problem. And that will allow SP to reconstitute a bit and get its men back together. Uh, we will see what the CSA chooses to do next. Check back up on the yardy here, see what we can see. Looks like they're doing counter battery. They were also doing counter battery. Uh, did you see where that landed? Yep. Uh, did you see the flags again? This time I'm alive. I think I saw them before I was knocked out. Uh, yeah. If you see, um, you know, the trail turned towards them, so fire. Fire that and that would be good. Okay, ready. Uh, a little bit high on that shot. Oh, we got a wide flank here by the CSA over on B point. Who was this? Looks like Williamson has tried to get behind, and he sent out a small skirmish force as well. Try to put a lot of pressure on this opposite side by the CS by the Union line here. Yeah, this element here could put some pressure on as well. This might be successful. As you can see, the you know intersecting uh, lines of fire here are pretty dang effective. And the Fort George has had to pull out. Now all you got is Colonel V-Bar here on this side. You've got a very good chance to push him off. And now here comes a full CSA attack. This might be the most important element. The only thing left here is SB. And they are about to get swallowed up here by multiple angles. And they got hit hard here by the 56. And the CSA has seized 
the B point. They need to cap as soon as possible and uh, start getting some of those tickets back. And start planning the next move. The Union has to figure out what they want to do next. A good attack coordinated by the CSA. Is able to tear apart that Union defense piece by piece. Now here we are. Now the Union's in trouble. They might come out kind of all raggled and hit them. Oh, we got Molochs in here, one of the devs. Yep, and that attack was pretty easily pushed aside here. You've got Owens now. He might be trying to try and poke here a little bit. And the CSA has now taken the point. 25 minutes remaining. I'll be honest, these little pokes aren't going to do you anything. All you're going to do is lose men and time. you got to figure out a big, big play. You also don't have to fight over this point. You could make a play for C point if you want. Uh, now we do have who is this? The A and V is getting flanked here by the LFL. They have enjoyed these flanks in this corn all night. Uh, here comes Fritz to try to support the A and V a little bit here and give them a little bit of support. Okay, Union now has hit engaged. Good job by Prussian here, getting the flag back to this position. Good awareness by that flag bearer. He's one of the new devs. You killed the new devs. <laughs> oh, no. Go for the left in the corn. Now he can explode you. They have a command called the command. Hey, discipline. Discipline. Vamos, estamos a la derecha. Vente. Todos los de... Set of... Feind links, gesichtet, jemand läuft da. Muss er hinten, eh? So it looks like this Union attack has kind of collapsed in on itself, and now will be the opportunity for the CSA to kind of put in some additional pressure here. Minus three. Aha. Okay. Dann, äh, minus... Ja, jetzt muss ich gucken. Uh, do we have a play on C point? Let's see. No, not yet. The CSA has a very spread out defense here. Um, although I kind of like it. You kind of see how they have, you know, the flanks covered. Kind of a reserve force here and then a main guard force there. So I, I very much like this kind of T formation that the CSA has set up here. In fact, I think they're, the only thing I would change is I think uh, Third Alabama is a little bit uh, overcommitted right now. But, I mean, if you want to have Third Alabama make a play for A, I would do that in a heartbeat. It would be very hard to stop Third Alabama coming through the corn. We'll see if that's what he's thinking or if he's just trying to get a flank on somebody. Here we got V-Bar. Who got caught out by Third Alabama, so... Viva caught him and will be able to stop him at least, but I don't think he'll be able to sustain more than maybe one more volley against these guys. Yeah, Colonel Vibar is going to get out of there. Right. Again, I think they're overcommitting on that side, though. You've got LFL here poking at the center. The reserves have been committed on that opposite side. Now there's only one unit defending this point, and that is the 6 Texas. If LFL makes a play, they might be able to defeat him before these guys can react. We will see. I think they're making a mistake sitting here and shooting. As you can see, the ticket bounce is getting a little bit closer. Now, 
C point has been decapped wow. here. So that was by, I'm not sure who came back here and decapped, but good job by whoever did it. Very good job. I completely missed that. Um, I think it was these guys. I think it's this uh, 20th element here. Or it might be... Yeah, I think it's this 20th element here. I think it was uh, John Wilkes. That has really helped out the uh, Union team now and slowing the picket bleed here. So, really good move by them on them. Looks like 3rd Alabama got a little bit overextended here, fighting 4th and uh, the NYV together. And Dar's going to try to catch him. A little bit overextended there by that 3rd uh, Alabama element. Now is the time to press an attack on this point. Because not only have you wiped out 3rd Alabama, you've got a whole unit that has gone back to uh, recap C point. So this is the best opportunity you are going to have as a union to retake this point. But let's see if they could do it. Right now, the only element here is GC, and they're getting torn to pieces here. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Everyone else. A&V was able to take care of that 20th. Fritz, and Fritz, Fritz. cease fire. Fritz, uh, message out. We got two big units on the right flank. The turn fight. Three to make the trees. Not yet, but just for information for you. Yeah. Okay. We got Williamson. I don't know how, but how about Williamson? I got. I think he got slaughtered, but we maintain the right flank for now. All right. So just for you as information, and yeah. Get over. Okay. Okay. Captain, you fall. Weiter schießen, weiter schießen. Yeah, I think the Union has kind of wasted a lot of this time here. They were not able to exploit that. Uh, they kind of got in this long-term shootout. Now A and V is going to have time to. Re they got the point capped again. They got to come back down and reinforce. And it's not going to be easy for the Union to retake now. So they had an opportunity here, but I think they kind of, kind of pissed it away a bit. And the CSA is going to be able to get back up on top here very soon and take the ticket lead. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I do the flags, I do that so I can, especially when I don't have great visibility, A, to see the whole field, and B, so I can tell who's hitting who and how well they're shooting. Looks so like I got a raid on the Artie developing here. Who is this? It is the SB here. And, you know, they make a swing over once they take the Artie to the C point. I think this could be a very uh, beneficial attack for them. If that looks like it's too strong, figure out another angle of attack. And that is what they're doing right now. Now the key is not to get too obsessed with this arty piece, kind of run through it and head straight for C and not chase them too much. Oh, we do have a reinforcing element over here. Oh, Williamson is going to come up at very opportune timing. And that will disrupt this attack. That is a shame for the uh, SB there. Poor timing on that. Good 
Perfect timing. Thank you, guys. Yep, very good timing. Now we got this attack developing over here. Will it be enough for the Union to take it? We'll see. It's going to come down to who is this right here? Six Texas. He's going to have to hold until reinforcements come up. A and B is trying over there, but they're basically wiped out now. It is up to the six Texas to see if they can hold this point. These guys need to swing in an attack right now. Who is this? GC, Colonel Vibar. He either needs to intercept third Alabama or he needs to help win this. That will determine, I think, the winner. See, now A and B is getting reconstituted. And six Texas was able to hold. And off goes LFL and six New York. Get back up here, Get back in independent, independent fire. fire fourth independent. Now you still have an opportunity here. Colonel Vibar, if he makes play for the point, I think he can win it. He's got some scattered reinforcements that can come and aid him. So I think this Colonel Vibar needs to take, take this cap really quick here and not get obsessed with killing three guys here. Hello there. Ja, ja, ja. wieder da. Ja. comes the third Alabama. But I think V-Bar did held it just enough to get the cap down. Does he have reinforcements that can aid him? Uh, 20 of Georgia, but they need to come up and move up and help them. If they stay back, these guys will just get wiped out. They were also tied down by that A and B element, though, so... But they are doing, in my opinion, the right thing. They are going to come up to try to help long enough to get that flag up. Yeah, I think these guys, once these guys flood in, which they should be, I don't know why they're not flooding in right now. Alright, hold here. Get our friendly flag up if we can, so we can get this up. Ooh, that guy got blown up. And it looks like Third Alabama will stop it. Uh, again, though, uh, they were able to kind of halt that attack a bit. And kind of stop that ticket bleed, at least for a little bit. Vertovsky, what do you want? Oh, wait. Keep your eyes open, boys. Watch that corn. Form right of the flag. Form right of the flag, Andy. What? Why are we giving away the Form right. Form right over here. Vertovsky. Uh, it's all right. We have friendlies over there. Oh, Vertovsky. Ah. We're, we're, we'll just hold and shoot. Now, let's see. We do have 56 coming down here, and now they bypassed SB. They're going to try another attempt on this flank. I think that's a good idea. I think it was bad luck last time being caught by 3rd Alabama, but we'll see if it works better for them this time. Enemies! Enemies! Now it looks like 56 has seen it. They're going to come up to try to help, I believe. But again, I, don't get too obsessed with this. You need to kind of just run through it and head over to that point. The key is to get that flag down. First one on the flag. First one on the flag's got it. Got it. Cease charging. Cease charging. This is a mistake, in my opinion. Uh, that's, a, that's a big mistake, in my opinion. All you're going to do is die here. And you're going to continue to lose morale. Uh, all you did was get your flag wiped back there for no benefit. CSA still has two points, and that'll let them, as you can see, they're going to continue to get better and better with that morale state with those two points versus one.
Richtung West. Mach eins mal zwei. Alter, negativ für mich auch mal. Left? It's a great opportunity. Corbin, you can hit him. Alright, I don't get my cinematic shot. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. He's uh, out! It was okay. This is interesting. So now the fighting has moved to this side of the field here with much of the Union force over here, but they are getting stacked up. I'm not sure what their intent is here. They're just going to get caught out in the open. And they're going to continue to lose morale. Now, they're going to make a, a turn and go for B, maybe. If that's what they're thinking, kind of catch A and V. But they're just kind of stacking up. Again, consider what you're doing and how it advances it. If you're not taking a point right now, it doesn't matter. No matter how good your shots are, how good your positioning is, uh, you need to be uh, advancing towards taking a point. My Ferrick is going to come up here and take a page from his battle buddy and attack the enemy in the rear. That is a classic killer move, attack the enemy from the rear. And in fact, pointed at the rear, surprisingly. For A and V knows, a man is most vulnerable from the rear. The tech has run out of steam, but did a decent amount of damage. And again, CSA is well ahead right now, so they can, you know, afford to be a little bit adventurous. Now you've got GC doing this attack up here, but again, unless you're moving towards that, taking out the RD doesn't really get you anything. See, Colonel Weaver is still going here. This, this is, this is the right decision in my view. I mean, I got it. They got to turn their cannons, man. They got to come back here and turn their cannons. It's not quick and easy. You can get over here and get the flag down and possibly get it up. They might get a shot off on you, but it's not really clear if they will. These guys, I would, I would make a play for B right now if I was them. Now, on the opposite side here, we got a raid by another CSA force over here, which could undo all that good work. This is 8th Florida here. Fritz, in a very good move, is going to try to knock down A point. And that will, even though GC might be able to do the same over there, this maneuver here by Fritz will undo any value on that and uh, pretty much ensure a CSA victory. So, good job by Mr. Fritz and the 8th Florida. Vale. Sorry, sorry, gents, this is not your day. Kill them now. Oh! 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 So the GC is doing the same thing over here. And they got into a fight here with looks like six Texas, but GC was able to hold them. So good defense there by the German Corps. Was that the blow up I was thinking about? Yes, it was. I was in a position to see it, but you can see the effects. Like I said, they can get there. But you might not fully get that flag up before they get that already positioned on you. But it's very tough to hold this position. And Colonel Weber has decided to kind of get out of there. I think that's the right decision, as you can see. It's 
So right now, it's still 2-1, to one, CSA to Union, and Union is now at breaking, 6 minutes 30 remaining, and CSA has a lot of morale left. This looks like a very decisive win for the CSA, but we'll see. we got a little bit of time left. See if they can make another maneuver here. A and V kind of poking at the LFL over there. Oh, good shots. Who's this? Well, the Fort Georgia, very good shots. Did a punk some, punk some holes to the third Alabama element. Под приклад, парядом направо, стоим шагом, марш. Raiders, two pickets from links, two pickets from links. Shift left, gentlemen. Nach links, west, for Rabi normal. Left, for Rose. Left, for Rose. Yeah, er shift, and shift. Verbündete, oder? Color guard. Color, color. Ich hab die Fahne. Very good. Looks like the dev got bored. Designated targets. All that blue trigger. Shoot. Left, left, south, 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 south. Weiter, weiter, slow, slow. Sie laufen, sie laufen. Dann schießt ihn in den Rücken. Male. Verloren. Allez, ils ne passeront pas. Our boys, let's join them. Let's join them. Let's charge. I'm John. You want to kill him? Hey, 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 Kill the flag, kill the flag. All right, now we're back down to uh, looks like C Union has recovered the A point. Um, CSA has not yet decapped uh, C point, um, but they're well ahead. To frankly, they don't even need to at this point. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, <laughs> Oh. So now Union will take uh, a point. That will start the morale, but I don't know. We'll see if it'll be enough to get it down to breaking. I think it's, it's going to be a little bit short, but we'll see. Hey! Das war nicht der. Die Vegetationsinsel da hinten. Feuer! Ja, 
Weit hinter uns haben wir Flaggenpool an den Zaun. Oh, the NYV just got later later there, man. That was, oof, that was not good. SB is also shot to hell. Get in there, get in there. Great shooting, but who was this? Third Alabama. Just picked apart those guys. Oh, now we got GC's going to try to come in and decap. This will, if they can manage it, which I don't think they have quite enough time, they could force an overtime. But I don't think they have quite enough time to do this. Oh, and not with C point going down. They finally took care of that. So that'll end that capability. And they've succeeded here as well, so. Come easy. Oh, okay. Shot it. And that is the end of that, and the CSA will win by a full morale state. Well done to them. You, you, <coughs> excuse me. No final thoughts as I choke. Oh, I get some aqua. Yeah, extend the field. It's good to extend the field. At least on Conquest.